Good morning, Cedar Crest. Today is Thursday, January 2nd, 2020. Today we are running on a key period schedule. I'm Feeman. And I'm Hannah Pascarella. Coming up, we'll tell Keystone test takers about the Code of Conduct. Also, we'll announce the Week 17 Wings of Praise win winners. We'll be right back with this and all your school news. Please rise for the Pledge to the Flag. Please rise for the Pledge to the Flag. In class news, Project Life exit interviews are soon beginning for seniors. You should have already received your interview date, but if not, you should see Mr. Schaefer in the main office as soon as possible. Interviews are mandatory and cannot be rescheduled. Make sure you have completed all Project Life requirements and bring your laptop and paperwork to your interview. Juniors interested in preparing for the spring college entrance exams are encouraged to sign up for the SAT-ACT workshop that will run on Saturdays during February leading up to the March SAT. To get the registration form or learn more about the workshop, please stop by the counseling office. In club news, Kite Club and Drama Club members should see Dr. Gerner or Ms. Haynes for information for the Washington, D.C. trip in March. Anime Club members should see Dr. Gernert for information about the 2020 Zenkai Con and the anticipated trip to Lancaster in March. Drama Club members should see Dr. Gernert or Ms. Haynes for information about the anticipated trip to see 12 Angry Jurors in February. In school news, due to updated guidance from the Department of Education and the USDA, small water bottles will no longer be free at lunch with a program meal. Potable water and cups will be made available in dispensers in the cafeteria as of today. The Week 17 Daily Wings praiser, praise winners are Hannah Gerhardt, Nicole Brewer, Dylan Wren, Angela Appia, Abby Boyle. Thank you to Sheets for donating our Daily Wings of Praise gift cards. Congratulations to our winners. Everyone continue to have a great year and keep showing your Falcon pride. Winners should see Dr. Schaefer in the office prior to the end of homeroom. Beginning Monday, January 6th, many of our fellow Falcons will take the Keystone test in Literature, Algebra, and Biology. The Pennsylvania Department of Education created a code of conduct for all test takers. The code of conduct is do, listen to, read, and follow all instructions given. Ask questions if you do not understand the directions. Read each question carefully, especially the multiple choice items that ask for the best answer. Also be sure to read any open-ended items carefully before responding. Be careful when marking your answers so that you do not skip spaces or fill in the wrong sections. Make sure to completely fill in the bubble for the answer you select and erase completely any answers that you change. Keep your eyes on your own test. Try to answer each test item. Check that you have completed all the test items in the test section before closing your test booklet or submitting your final responses online. Report any sus suspected cheating to your teacher or principal. Do not have notes in your possession during the test. Have any unapproved electronic devices in your possession during the test. Note you may have approved calculators if applicable during the test. Share a calculator with others. Use the bubble in the answer booklet to either eliminate possible incorrect answers or possible correct answers by mark making marks in multiple bubbles and erasing. Mark only the bubbles for the correct answer you have chosen. Talk with others about questions on the test or during the test after the test. Take notes about the test to share with others. Leave an online test session until the session is complete or until instructed to do so. Use social media to post information about the test and or test items. And now we send it over to Caroline with our weekly weather outlook. Caroline, is it going to stop raining soon? Shouldn't be any rain. Today we have a high of 49 and a low of 37 with sun. Friday. We have a high of 50 and a low of 44, mild with rain. Saturday has a high of 50 and a low of 33, mild with rain. Sunday has a high of 40 and a low of 31 with rain. Starting next week, Monday has a high of 42 and a low of 27 with clouds. Tuesday has a high of 43 and a low of 28 with clouds. And wrapping up Wednesday has a high of 38 and a low of 22 with wind and clouds. That's all for your weekly weather outlook. Back to the desk. That's all for your morning announcements today. I'm Feeman. To ring in the new year, let's start it off right. Make sure you're wearing your IDs and not wearing earbuds. Let's hope to keep Cedar Crest safe. And I'm Hannah Pascarella. Happy 2020. Make it a great day, Cedar Crest.